and say, well, that's it. You know, I am, I, I am so done with you. Is that what she did? Well, no, that's not what she did. She was determined. And she would not take no for an answer. You know why? The answer is never, ever no. When it seems like the answer is no, don't take no for an answer. Because it's not no. Because the promises of God are yes and amen to the glory of God. So she didn't take no for an answer. She said, okay, this is what she did. I'm going to paraphrase to you what she just said. That Jesus got really excited about. You know what she did? She said, okay. Okay, Jesus. If I'm a dog, if you want me to be a dog, I'll be a dog. But if I'm a dog, at least I have access underneath the table. I understand. I have no right to sit at the table where the children are. I understand that I'm not supposed to be there. But if I'm a dog, at least I can be underneath the table. And underneath the table is where the crumbs are off the table that your children have just dropped. And really, all I need is just one little crumb from the table to get my daughter healed. That's all I'm asking for. You know what? Jesus had her exactly where he wanted her. Because you know what? She gave a statement of her faith. See, up to this time, she had been making religious statements. It sounded good. She was a son of David, have mercy on me. You know, it got a little bit better. You know, because, because she began to worship him, you know, saying, Lord, help me. But now, Jesus is working with her heart. So, this is, the, this is one of the cruxes. If it seems like the answer is no, don't take no for an answer. Work with the Lord. Work with the Word. Work with the Spirit of God until you got it right on the inside of you. Until you made that connection. Because the answer is never, ever no. Never, ever no. Because the promises of God yes. are yes and amen. amen. So you cannot take no for an answer. You've got to take on the same bulldog attitude as this lady had. You know what? I'm going to get what I came for. And so she finally says something that Jesus can't work with. Did you know like one other gospel, the gospel of Mark chapter 7, Jesus, well, you'll just read it in a moment, you know, but Jesus made a statement for this saint. Jesus got really excited. He said, oh, woman. It's the, the King James that says, oh, woman, great is thy faith. But I think that Jesus got really excited. He said, oh, woman, great is your faith. Be it unto you, even as you will. And her daughter was healed from the very eye. It's quite exciting, isn't it? Yeah. So that tells me, you know, we can learn a little bit of this of this woman, right? She was willing to work with Jesus until she got what she came 